there's there's no, nothing to argue about. Now it's all about making Corbin happy. And what makes him happy is being around his dad. She tried to say that he don't spend no time with his fucking child and don't do nothing for his child. This goddamn boy showed all the goddamn presents, a new fucking four-wheeler, everything for Christmas that she wouldn't even let the goddamn boy come over and get. This nothing-ass bitch. How many, how many of y'all did not get to see your child and get, did not get to give your child their presents on Christmas? How many of y'all still got presents in your house right fucking now that your child was not a, allowed to come get on Christmas? How many of y'all didn't see your child for Christmas? A bitch will come up with every excuse. All right, well, yeah. You know what, dog? I'm finna start going hard on this shit, dog. I'm, I'm finna do something about this shit. Dog, I don't know what I'm finna do, but I'm finna do something about this shit. This shit got me so fucking mad right now, dog. How many of y'all did not get to see your child on Christmas? For whatever fucking reason. How many holidays do these hoes have to go without seeing their child? How many times? Bitch, when was your last time on a holiday, a birthday, not seeing your fucking child? Bitch, tell me when was the last time that if you didn't pay some, you wasn't able to see that child. All you got is bills from credit cards, media com, phone companies that you haven't fucking paid. You still at the goddamn mall, bitch. You take money from your child. When I give money to the child, you take the money from the child to buy dope with. Who else? Who else is giving their fucking child money in their fucking hand only to find out that their mama took the money and smoked the shit up, popped the shit up, drank the shit up? What can you do about it? So you can open it. So you can open it when you come over here. You know what I'm saying? Your four wheel, your four wheel. I already crunk. I already crunk that bitch up. Then pre drove that bitch. Then three bands, three bands on the four wheel. Uh, I ain't talking about no. Uh, yeah, real four wheel. Three bands on the four wheel. Uh, I got you a, a, a electric scooter. You know what I'm saying? I got you buku clothes. I got you a PS4. I got you a trampoline and a whole lot of other shit. So. Yeah, don't listen to, you know what I'm saying, your mama. But, hey, it's Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. And this is... Are you fucking serious? Also, go to my Instagram. You can see how uh, 2K19... Um, we, about to, we about to have something go on because these motherfuckers took my shirts. Go on 2K19 or go on my Instagram. You can see they have shirts for sale that say, Are You Fucking Serious? We finna see what's going on with that. That's a whole nother subject. Young Blue is a rapper for Mobile. Um, Mobile is right across the bridge. This shit is too close to home. 
Um, I told y'all that Baldwin County is where Hayden was invented. Mobile is where that shit went and got amplified. Mobile is 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 um similar to Baton Rouge, uh, Florida, Philadelphia, Chicago. Places where when you start coming up, niggas kill you. Young Blue is the only nigga to come out of Mobile that's done what the fuck he's done. We had Rich Boy back in the day, uh, Mr. B, C. Nile, uh, but Young Blue has done what no one has ever done on a rap level. Um, and of course, you know, with that comes this shit. I want y'all to... Um, Bear with me. I want to read to you a little bit what Young Blue's baby mama said about him on Facebook. Blue, you should be ashamed bragging on buying Corbin one little itty bitty ass chain. And that was so long ago. Look at all this old shit you posting, but what have you done lately? Now, how many times you bought shit for the next bitch before your son? He's five years old, and if you can brag about putting ice on a bitch, you should do the same for Corbin. Plus, plus more, you got, plus more, you got to feel me on this one, man. That's your little nigga, your twin. How you gonna go out sad like that? I swear you need to take notes from the rapper Lil Baby. His son rocking big boy shit while you doing all this capping, and he spend whatever on his son. I'm pretty sure he make sure his BM straight too, regardless. It ain't no pressure with them niggas, period. You flaw as fuck. It's more. It's more. Like, she, that's not the only shit she wrote, whatever like that. But that right there should let you know what kind of bitch this is. Somewhere I'm gonna put in a video of him opening presents for his for this child that she's talking about. This is his baby mama that he had before stardom. You know what I'm saying? Of course you know she's scorned. She's hurt. She gets child support payments. How in the fuck can you complain if when you take a nigga to court and get child support? How in the fuck can you complain? You put me on child support, you won, and you go still go to Facebook, and this is why the fuck... Let me stop. Let me stop. She's angry. He has a new bitch, and he has a newborn. She said on another post, you supposed to treat them both the same. Treat both... Why, why the fuck you doing this for him? All the ladies out there, I want to ask y'all some questions. First question is, if you had a five-year-old in, in the same house, if you had a five-year-old and a newborn, which one of those children would get more attention? Okay, okay. Second question. If This, this is for my ladies with multiple children or my aunties that are, are aunties to multiple children and shit like that. Is there any way that you can... Even if the, let's say the kids are the same age, is is it possible to treat them the same? When you go out and get this for one of them, does that mean that the other one will like that shit too, or are they, do they have uh, different personalities? You can have two boys, the same age, same be twins, and a true parent will know the difference. Like he likes this right here, I need to do this for him. But he like he he like to stay inside and play that game. He like he want to go to football practice and, and and play like he got his own fucking personality. Ain't no treating the same. The way I show him support, I can't show him the same support because he don't like the same shit. And that's if they're the same age. Could you imagine a fucking age difference like that? A newborn fucking child? Are you fucking serious? But they not they not argue. The argument isn't about logic. It isn't about what's right or what's logical. We're not using reasoning. What she wants to do, understand this. This is not just for young blue and this bitch. 
This is for every nigga. If you're doing something, if you're grinding right now, and you have, I told you before, you don't know a bitch until you put a child in her. And I also told you that a bitch with a baby is the equivalent of a nigga that has money. She gonna be herself. You grinding right now. The shit that you grinding on is not guaranteed. You got a bitch, but you know she don't fully fucking support you. But you know that she will, and everybody else will, just as soon as you start getting popping. And that's what frustrates you. You know that you wouldn't have to work as hard. You wouldn't, you, you wouldn't be in these uh, circumstances if you was popping. Motherfuckers be moving like this if you was popping. And you know they're going to move just like this when you start popping. But the frustration come in is that you they not treat you like this right now. It's like, why don't they see my potential now? Why can't they treat me for what I'm gonna be, not for what I am? Why, why are they, why are they putting me, why they, why they holding their nuts on me like this? I understand it, my nigga, but that's to show you, that's to show you how to handle shit once you get there. Once you get there, dog, fuck with everybody. Ah, oh, that nigga forgot about, forgot about who, dog? Forgot about who? Dog, when I was down here on this level, the shit that you would like, the dog, it wasn't, it wasn't no whole bunch of fucking love. I had to beg and, and pay niggas to come out to a fucking video shoot. Your bitch telling you, uh, nah, uh, shit, you don't need to go to the studio tonight. We got a baby here. Like, but shit, you know what I'm saying? The studio shit could have had the baby diapers forever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just rock with me. Just roll with me. But ain't none of that. But as soon as you pop the fuck off, the whole world should be on her. And that's how the fuck they feel. And the, the true issue here is they're using these children as spacers. Like, like th this is this is this is what this shit is all about. When really, bitch, you mad because the nigga that went and got a better bitch. How in the fuck can you still be talking about what a nigga supposed to be doing when legally he's doing everything that he has to? You fought for child support, got it, and you still fucking fussing? That make a nigga want to say, you know what? I can put a little bit of this shit back and just, you know what I'm saying, get that shit handled. Because when it really break down to it, if a bitch gave a nigga the option of taking full custody and still paying you child support, a nigga would take that. Because that's a stress off of him. Bitch, just stay away from me. I don't want like I don't I got I got me. I'm straight. I done moved all my life. I'm good. That kills them. It's not about the money. Honestly, they will like it. They'll they'll destroy your fucking career and tell you to pay two hundred dollars in child support, knowing that you don't fucking have it because they destroyed it. This bitch right here will come out. And, and, and make a room where all that nigga gay, that nigga used to get slapped in the hood. Oh, yeah, she'll do whatever the fuck she has to do to fame him, to dethrone him, just so he can be back walking down the street, you know what I'm saying, with nothing, and then she'll pull up, like, offering him a ride. Why the fuck you? I don't know what, I don't know what kind of grudge you holding, but you need to let that go. We got a, we got a child to raise. I'm telling you, dog. Get the fuck away from the motherfuckers now. You think I, that's why I, niggas thought it was crazy when I told them to. If you stand with a hoe, if she shows these tendencies, be homeless. Just leave and be homeless and make this shit happen, dog. Get these people away from you now before it pops off because this is how it happens. It's not about what you can give this motherfucker. She would like it. The motherfuckers, once you've left them and you're doing better without them, a bitch don't take that well. See, if a, if a bitch leave a nigga and she go get her a good, that's all they can do is get a good job. A nothing ass bitch. Go get a, a good job where a white man got to pay him. They got to uh, wait for their check and shit like that. Oh, she, she'll shit on you. Shit, and you just got to eat that. But nigga, soon as, if you come up after you done left them, oh my God. 
Oh, well, shit, if you doing all this and all that, why the fuck the baby ain't? Ah, uh, any Little baby, you need to be like, are you fucking, are you? Be Only online will a bitch get away with saying this shit. She want to say it in front of everybody. Oh, yeah, them folks, you see how he treated baby mama? That's how the fuck he post. Why the fuck is you comparing me to that whole another nigga over there? The fuck you think, nigga? Why would you even mention this nigga as if, if if he saw you, he would do anything but walk past you? Bill, what the fuck is you talking about a little baby for? I'm supposed to aspire to be him? You gonna say boost it, Gucci Mane next? Future? Why the fuck? But see, that's the shit. Nothing ass bitches attract nothing ass bitches. So when she say shit like that, it's like Tyreek and she said, that's, that's a, a, a dog whistle to all the rest of the nothing ass bitches. Oh yeah, she sure right. Oh. Little baby show me taking care. Of, oh yeah, and he take care of baby mama. Oh, uh, he don't be tripping on that. And they know this strictly off of fucking pictures on social media. You don't know these fucking people. So when these motherfuckers be mentioning motherfuckers that Cardi B, I want to be like this motherfucker. I want to be like we want to be like this. Like you don't know these fucking people. But that's all you can do, though, is look at somebody else and emulate that. Not your own shit. That lets you know. That lets you know what type of bitch you're dealing with when they take the image of someone else, the image of it, not what it is, not what it is in its absolute form. The image of it, the picture on the wall. I want to, I want that. And what's so crazy about that shit, dog? This bitch probably showed these signs when Blue was down here. But because he was down here, I just got to ride with it. But when he got his shit together and he was able to escape that situation, that's when all the, like, guarantee you, my nigga, is he shouldn't have been on child support. Shouldn't have been on child support. But because he continued to fuck, you know what I'm saying, and, and continue to rise and fuck with bad hoes, it's embarrassing. They feel insecure. And so this is how they fight back. This is how all of them fight back. Let me tell you something. I'm not going there. I'm not going to go there. I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. There are fathers out here that would love to see their children. And do you know what happens once the bitch finds out that the father actually loves his children but doesn't love them? The bitch will up and move away on your fucking dime. That child support money that you're paying... Save that shit the fuck up because they don't get we we don't gotta go into the fact of bitches taking the child support money and buying dope with it and all that. I, I'm keeping the baby like we know about these nothing ass hoes we ain't we ain't gotta go there. Whatever it is that makes you smile, they'll try to destroy it to where the only you have to fix your face whenever you go and deal with them. That's why it's so stressful. You have to hide emotions. You can't smile when you're happy because they're taking into account what made you smile. So you just got to act like, yeah, just, yeah, just, it's all good. Yeah, whatever. You damn near got to act like you don't want to see the child just to see the child. Because if you act like you love the child, oh, if you want to see it, uh, 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 the daycare need to be paid. They, they didn't want up on the price. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm paying the daycare. I'm paying for this practice. I'm paying for this. I'm paying for everything. And, and for some reason, field trips just keep happening. But I don't ask no questions. I just give the money. Now, hold on a little bit. I ain't got a lot. What the fuck? I'm, no, I'm, I'm asking. No, I just, I, you, need to change, you need to change your tone. And it's like, what do you do, dog? What do you do? You know, you, like, you know you're going to have to go through tremendous red tape going through the court system and then if even if you go to the court system what she gonna up and leave she'll move away bitches base their whole life when i say bitches please understand who the fuck i'm talking about 
nothing ass bitches. Bitches that don't have a thing that they're aspiring for. Bitches that believe they can't do shit but work for a white man and have children. Work for a white man, have children. Of course, smoke weed, fuck, and eat. You know what I'm saying? But work as far as outside of that, work for... These are their achievements. I got a job and I have kids. Praise me for it. This is how they lead. This is what you see on their accounts. And we ain't got to talk about how... Um, bitch, you know you ain't bad because if you was bad, you would have an Instagram and all this shit like that. Ho, you got a Facebook account because you know you're not bad enough to be on fucking Instagram. We ain't got to talk about your insecurities, bitch. We don't need to talk about that shit. What we talking about is you lead on... I, the reason I said your social media because on your Facebook it says how many kids you have and where the fuck you work at. And that's what they rest they had on. That's what they... Loving my five phlebotomist at fucking Thomas Hospital, whatever the fuck these motherfuckers work at. Some bullshit ass CNA or hospice job, whatever like that, because they went to their two week course at fucking, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, the Rye or some bullshit like that. For this college. I'm, I'm a nurse. C bitch. Bitch. You just landed a job putting that fucking pressurized thing around motherfuckers' arm when they come in. That's what you do. I have to state these things, though, because oftentimes, as we see right here, they're asking you to be everything in the world and more. How do you have me on child support but still go to Facebook and complain? When I don't make as much money as I used to, and I ask for a deduction on my child support, there's not a question whether or not you're going to allow that deduction to take place. Ah, oh, nah, nah, nah. You're a nothing ass bitch. And anyone who agrees with this hoe, if you agree with this bitch, you are a nothing ass hoe. Fuck all that goddamn. If, listen to me, if your response, if your reply to, um, nothing ass baby mama is well you should have wrapped up uh, 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 wear a condom uh, uh, pull out uh, if, that's, if that's your motherfucking response you are a nothing ass bitch meaning you don't want shit out of life you want to work for a white man and have children that's, that's all you need you're a nothing ass bitch that's it you're, a nothing you, you're not striving for shit you're a nothing ass bitch if all, if this whole thing is about two people, because that's the whole shit, 50-50, it take a man and a woman to do this shit. If that's the case, then why in the fuck do you keep on, the child was born into poverty. I'm, I'm talking to you average motherfuckers. And even with Young Blue and his bitch, the child was born into poverty. The, the child just not getting money because the father got money. The child was born into poverty. Ain't you supposed to love your child like before they even get here? If that's the case, then why the fuck, if we got all these fucking shooting going on, we got all this motherfucking police brutality going on, we got all these motherfucking uh, uh, domestic violence going on, not to mention this fucking dude that you're about to have this child with is not a father in the least bit. If you're supposed to love your child, why the fuck would you have the motherfucker? And when we start talking about abortion, and please don't tell me you don't believe in that shit. Tell me on what basis do you not believe in it? Can't say religious because you can't choose what motherfucking sins you rock with and you don't rock with.